All right, a couple of issues. Um, today when we got the bus here, we're getting the floor all prepped and ready. And we were walking back there and we looked up and we noticed that the AC was kind of half cocked off to the side. Um, apparently, um, you know, we took off the plates and everything downstairs, but also upstairs it wasn't, it isn't glued down or anything like that. In fact, it's just using the little foam thing to keep the water out. So it's pretty amazing that the water just you know, we've had quite a bit of rain here in Arizona the past few weeks and the water has stayed out. But anyway, um, we decided to hook it all back up, um, mostly because it's starting to get warm here already. Um, so today it's 78 outside, but with the sun hitting the bus and beating down on the bus, um, it got to about 96, 97 in here, which is pretty warm. So we, uh, we hooked it back up. It's hooked up to this cable and I just hooked it up to a plug. Um, but we've hooked up our little kilowatt meter just to see, you know, how much energy or power this uh, this thing takes. So we've been running it now for about 20 minutes or so, and it's cooled it down about 10 degrees in here. So it's working pretty well. Um, it just it uses a lot of power uh, when we measured on this thing about um, almost 15 amps, uh, 1500 watts. So um, anyway, it's uh, it's using a ton of power, but it is cooling things down. So as we can see here, turn it on high cool. Um, so we'll get the readings from here. It's using about 1,328 watts right now. Um, that'll vary uh, depending on the, the fan speed and stuff like that, about 14 amps um, at 120 volts. So 114 volts, uh, volt sagging a little bit. So um, anyway, we're gonna keep it on because it's, uh, because it's pretty warm in here, but um, we are uh, we're gonna keep it on. We're gonna keep monitoring, see how it does. Um, it's really nice to have it blowing cold air in here, actually. So um, we're glad it works. So we're gonna start doing the sub floor. That's the project for today. So um, we'll get to it. Slide it all the way forward and it'll click. Okay. How do I do this without cutting into the wood? Well, just don't touch that part. Well, I don't know how not to. And how do you get do it so it doesn't burn your arm? <laughs> Yeah. It burns when I hit you. <laughs> hit my leg. I don't like that. Mm.
So today, um, we spent a bunch of time taking the staircase apart. Um, so this is the staircase. Um, we took off a bunch of wood and then what had happened was up in this corner where we can see there's a hole right here. Um, what had happened is this whole piece of wood right here had kind of sort of deteriorated and was just a bunch of splinters. So what we did is we drew a line here and then we cut that piece of wood off and unfortunately all these bolts were rusty so we had to uh, we had to cut all those out and there's four more along here we had to cut all that out so we had to cut all those out and then cut out this piece of wood and now we'll make a template unfortunately we were supposed to do more of the flooring today but as you can see we've only done one more piece and then now we've got kind of this front section so we kind of have to figure out sort of what to do here and and how to fix all this stuff but first we had to address this little rot here so we're gonna close this up we're gonna cover this in like silicone and also the bottom of all the wheel wells is gonna be linexed so hopefully that'll take care of the issue that we've been having where water kind of seeps in and and kind of kills that wood so hopefully with the linex that'll make all that waterproof underneath and we won't have to worry as much about um, water kind of coming up through this corner hole here
ドフロアサンドフロアビッグサッカルサンドフロアサンドフロアよし All right, today is sanding day. So we rented this drum sander from Home Depot. And when we laid the subfloors down, they mostly went down pretty well, but there's a few places where there's a little lip. And so we're going to give it a nice sanding just to make everything all even and to make preparations for the floor and cabinets and stuff like that just as best as we can、um, with these floors. The wood was also a little bit warped. So that contributed just a little bit. So we're going to give it a sand,、um, get everything nice and smooth, and、um, that's the project for today. All right, so we finished sanding them. I just took the.、Uh, The sander back to Home Depot. So we finished sanding all the floors, and、um, they should be good enough to put cabinetry on, as well as、um, when we lay down an actual floor that we'll be standing on,、um, it should provide a nice solid foundation for that as well. So we're all done. <laughs> 